input corner are kind of a shortcuts which can be triggered with a mouse or with a trackpad instead of pressing keys on your keyboard. There are a variety of functions which can be very useful but also very annoying if triggered accidentally. So in this video I want to show you what are the best options for each corner and also how to use it properly. So let's start. To configure hot corners, you have to open system settings and then go to desktop and dock. Scroll all the way down and click on the button for hot corners. This little window will appear and shows you the four corners of your screen. As default, you have the quick note set to the bottom right corner. If I move my pointer there, a small edge of the note will pop up, but not many people know that you can move it a bit further and reveal a whole note. It's quite nice. If you use quick notes, keep it there. But I don't use it much and I find myself triggering this many times accidentally while going to downloads, while dragging files to the bin. So I usually like to deactivate this. You can do it if you select the dash from this drop down menu. Now let's set up the other corners to be actually useful. There are quite a few things, but not all of them are actually useful. And if you select some option in wrong corners, it can annoy you a lot more than actually help you speed things up. These first five items can be easily performed by trackpad gestures. Swipe with three fingers up and you will activate mission control. Applications window is just a different name for app expose. And to reveal desktop, launchpad and notification center, you also have some single swiping gestures. So there is no need to be setting it in the corner and then moving all the way up there. It's much faster and more convenient to just use a single swipe gesture. You can see these gestures if you go to trackpad on the bottom of system settings. And on the more gestures tab, you can set it up and see how it works. But let's go back to the hot corners, because I want to show you what is the most logical setup, at least according to me. First, top left. You always have to go there in order to put your Mac to sleep. But you have to go through the menu and move here, click sleep and it's just slow. Instead, you can set the corner to put your Mac to sleep immediately just by moving the pointer to the corner. I found this the most convenient way how to put the Mac to sleep. But you might actually end up triggering this accidentally. So the other option I would recommend here is to use this corner just as a start to your screensaver. Because now if you go to lock screen options, you can set this require password after screensaver begins. And if I put here immediately or in just few seconds, I can use the hot corner to lock my Mac by starting the screensaver. I don't need to put it asleep to lock it. I can just do it through the screensaver, but it's up to you. Now let's move on to the top right corner. I also have two recommendations here. First is desktop. As I said before, I can reveal the desktop by a single swipe gesture on the trackpad. But it can be handy to reveal the desktop when you drag an image from the website. I can for example take any image on Safari and drag it to the desktop. But if I have many windows open there that I can't even see the desktop, I can use the hot corner. I will move the image all the way to the right and it will reveal the desktop so I can easily save the image anywhere I want on the desktop. It might be useful if you are saving a lot of images from the websites. But the other option is to simply set here notification center to the top right corner. It makes sense because again, if you want to see notification center, you need to go all the way to the corner and click on the time. With this hot corner option, you don't need to click anything and just simply move the pointer to the corner and activate notification center. Yes, there is also a trackpad gesture to do that, but I found this hot corner option quite convenient. On the bottom left, I like to use the quick note because I rarely go to this corner, so there is no problem with triggering it accidentally. But to make it even better, there is one more way how to prevent that from happening and that is to use the modifier keys. I can open the drop down menu and hold down any of the modifier keys 
like command or option key. And you can see how the symbol appears next to each item. So if I select the quick note now with option key, I can put my pointer to the corner and nothing is happening. I have to press the option key first and then move to the corner to actually activate it. This way I can easily prevent activating these hot corner options accidentally. You can set this up to be any of the modifier keys. So you can use Ctrl, Option, Command or Shift or you can use a combination of all of them. Unfortunately, there is no way to set up multiple commands for one hot corner, like holding the command key to activate screensaver and set the same corner to hold different key to put Mac to sleep for example. You can't do that, but still it's good to know this option. I personally started to use hot corners a lot more after finding all of these techniques, so I hope you found this video useful as well. If you did, let me know about it by clicking the like button below. And also if you have some other recommendations how to cleverly use these corners, let me know in the comments as well because I always want to learn new things. If you want to learn new things, then I will see you in the next video.